What's up, y'all? I'm here with Sarah Chuck, and we've got an audience full of single ladies, and we are what? Second Sangria, and we are celebrating all our... That's all right. Our next guest is one of the funniest single ladies we know. She is the host of the Two Funny Mamas podcast. She's a Weight Watchers ambassador, and you can see her co-host Daily Pop weekdays on E! Take a look. You know what? I was just confused. See, I, I'm a big fan of The Weeknd. I Who love him. Who Huh? I was just, when he went into the gold room, the gold uh -huh. room got me dizzy, and he was looking around, and everybody had on these little ma look. See, not right there, right there. I'm confused. <laughs> I was like, that camera angle is gonna be the death of me. I was dizzy. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you, girl. That Weight Watchers WW been working, child. Ugh, I should hey, look into it. This, this Your hair looks awesome. You look so great. You look beautiful, too. Look thank at you. I went, like, with a little grunge vibe today. Say hi to, but, to Sarah as well. Hi, Sarah. How you doing? Can she see me? This is so weird. <laughs> hey. Oh, my God. This is so see crazy. You. This is my first time on a, uh, a real set. In a you know, while. You know, we were doing it virtually, so I didn't get to see you at first. And you just, you look just as cute. Look at you I at home. It, I was like, I was so excited when I walked in. My stylist had this dress. I was like, you love me. I was like, I, I can, this, this has some room, because I'm is, drinking today. So. That is so me. How are the kids? We, I'm just going to ask you how the children. They're so good, honestly. Good, Yeah, good. honestly, I don't know what's been happening in the last, they now got to start going back to school. But like, literally, like their person, they're not mean anymore. I feel like they got mean a little they in the did. pandemic mm -hmm. and, and you know rightly so you were stuck but like they're nice now yes they are because they've gotten used to being in prison <laughs> <laughs> they're out now though. <laughs> so wait we're celebrating being single today so what what do you think the best part of being single is oh my god for me mm -hmm. the best part of being single is i don't have to bathe for like three days <laughs> We are so similar. <laughs> oh my God. My hair, I could like tune a car with the amount of oil that comes in here. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, the amount of hair. Like I can just become <laughs> Sasquatch and don't, who cares? <laughs> like I just don't, clo don't do a close up. Like I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to de-wax. I think that is the best part of being single for me. You don't have to really answer to anyone. You don't have to, you can just be you. Yeah. And, and just relax. It's green. It is absolutely friend. Like, yeah. if I want to be a man, I'm a man at home. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> my twin brother. I love it. <laughs> I have that as well. Um, well, we talked about this before, because um, dating in COVID was a little odd, but has it gotten any better? Has it got, it, you know, it has not gotten any better, because, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> the truth is this. The truth is this. If you want to date a man, now you got to get tested for me. No, you, you don't get tested. I, 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 you got to get tested. All your little STDs, forget the STDs. Get that COVID test. Yeah, like, I'll take an STD. I don't want my lungs I'd like a up. full panel. I'd like a full panel done. A full panel. Yeah, give me a full panel. All the tests. I want to know what I'm working with. <laughs> That's amazing. Like, That's true, though. Isn't it it's true? It's funny, but it's true. It's like, don't be bringing that over here. No, don't yeah. bring that. My son has asthma, honey. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's nothing to mess around with. No. What, what's the most ridiculous line that a, a guy has used on you? Uh, first of all, let me tell you, thank you. I will come it, to your show it anytime. It's so good. This is fantastic. It's dangerous. Someone I'm going to be doing a table dance. Right what's the weight limit? <laughs> Make sure that's sturdy. <laughs> it's my show, so it'll hold anyone. <laughs> you got that Just one. Just in case I get over there. <laughs> Women, okay. sturdy. Okay, the most ridiculous. There's, there's so many things. Um, I'm used to men saying, um, can I borrow some money and I'll pay you back. Oh. But uh, uh, I, have, I have men saying stuff like, oh, you must be tired. Oh, because you've been walking through my dreams all oh, day. Oh, no. You, you, you hear that one? That, that yeah. cracks me up. But I always got a comeback, honey, because I'm like, did you buy my shoes? Because if you didn't, I wasn't walking through your dreams. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I legit, if somebody ever said that to me, I'd be like, thank you for just showing me the weeds in the garden. I will move along. That's it. There, there's so many, you know. Uh, I had this one man after a comedy show, Sarah, I had this one man show up after the show and just give me a whole bunch of money. Like, he was making it rain, you know, like I was a stripper or something. <laughs> 
was appalled. You know, and I picked up all the money. <laughs> I put it in my bag. Exactly. <laughs> and I said, I am not that type of girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I went on about my way with my but stash. But I will take this. I will take this. I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. I said, this is tithes and offerings for the church. Tithes and offerings. <laughs> this is the 10%. This was a 10%. This is a 10%. For the Lord. For the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> have you, Sarah, what, have you ever had any horrible lines used on you? Um, I had one really weird experience where I was just starting going to university all with a new group of friends and we were at a Freedom for Tibet rally and this guy came over to me and he was like, um, I hated you. You were like way the worst Becky. Uh, I really like the other Becky better. And then he walked away and I'm like, just trying to blend in with my new friends. And then he came back about an hour later and he goes, I just want to really apologize. I just really always wanted to yell at an actor. Um, so I'm super sorry. And then he walked away and my friend was like, I think he's actually hitting on you. And I was like, well, that's a very unique strategy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? They try to knock you down so they can bring you back up. Yeah. That's emotional abuse. That, that's what that is. That is emotional <laughs> that's, abuse. That's gaslighting. That's all the things that are bad. Stay away. So <laughs> wait, let's talk about let's talk about your show though, Daily Pop. So it deals with celebrities and pop culture. So what was like your wildest celebrity encounter? Okay. It was at an award show uh, called the Neighborhood Awards, and uh, uh, Steve Harvey was giving it. And I was on the stage and I thought I was gonna be funny and say something to Shamar Moore flirting because, you know, my mouth. I was like, ha-ha, Shamar Moore, I see you in the front row saying all that. He gets out of his seat and oh. he starts to come up the steps. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I didn't call you up here. Wait, wait, wait. This is security, security. Don't come up here. Shamar Moore comes up and this is the first thing, especially with a big girl. All men think they can just pick you up. That's the first thing they want to do. And I'm looking at little Shamar, little skinny ass. I was like, don't you do it. Don't you embarrass yourself. Don't you pick up this. I'm solid. <laughs> so he comes up and he looks at me and I was like, oh my God. And I whispered in his ear and he came up close. And I said, don't pick me up, please don't pick me up. He was like, I'm not going to pick you up. And he grabs my face and he sticks his tongue what? down my throat. No. And, and I don't oh. even know if my body can, yes! Look at that right there! You are one powerful manifester. You said it and it happened. Wait a minute, I'm gonna call him and get him COVID tested. <laughs> Everybody be sure to watch Kim on Daily Pop weekdays on E. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.